Hi there everyone. Um, yeah, I'm just going to give you a little update about our gardens. Uh, so right beside us here, we now have tulips. Our first tulips are up. There. Some cute little pink ones. And red ones. Kind of hard to see. Those cute. I gave them water last night, and I think it liked it. <clears throat> and you can see throughout here too. Our raspberry bushes survived. So, in amongst here, we've got some raspberries. winter and we've got I don't know about 10 other ones here in amongst these new plum trees so the plum trees we uh, tied up and we sprayed with a rodent repellent or with bear uh, bears <laughs> uh, rabbits and deer that we have so they don't eat our oh look at there's some new life on here as well in one of the plum trees so, <clears throat> um, across here we planted four fruit trees behind these other bushes that have been donated by the Brinkmans <laughs> in their remodeling projects. Oh, so, coming along quite nicely, actually. yeah. So lots of new life there. So we have a pear tree, apple tree. There's a pair of pears and a pair of apples. And then a pear and an apple. So apparently the pears need an apple tree to like pollinate. Pears. And it looks like we have life on that one too. All right. <clears throat> so if you saw our planting video, it looks like things have worked. Can you check and see how dry the ground is? It needs a sip of water. No, it's still moist. Good, okay. I think we'll do that tomorrow though. Here's here too. Yeah, seems the pears are a little bit more ahead of the apples in this response. I'm not going to walk over uh, there, yeah. but we have planted four, are they what, silver maples, or are they? They're, they're a combination of silver and red maple. maples. So I don't know if you can see, but there's four sticks there along our, our front of the property there. Um, yeah, they're really very small, bare root. That we planted. I guess the succession rate is is one in four. So hopefully, <clears throat> and my tulips here in the front bed need some water too. We've had a really hot week this week. So cool. And then here are some um, are they blackberries bushes? Mm -hmm. I think so. Black currant bushes. Nice, I like black. I like black currants. Yes, great for jam. And then when we've got some more trees coming, so we're going to plant another big uh, a maple here. And uh, yeah. Hopefully it'll. So yeah, there's when you plant a tree, there's always. There's always hope. <clears throat> oh, and uh, yeah, I don't know if you remember, but we planted garlic in the fall. So, this is our garlic right here. We need some water too. And we need some, give it some water again. 
but pretty soon the scapes are going to come up and we'll show you what we were told by the garlic farmer what to do. Or the flower. Yeah, the scapes are the flower. Maybe we can see if the uh, guys are doing anything. They need water too. So we did have a couple kind of perennial herbs. We got some chives. So we pulled up the tarp and they're a little on the the weak green side, but they're alive. And uh, But I think our rosemary and oregano did not make it. But these are our looking, they're not looking great chives. So we'll have to keep watering them, see how they come up. But I did get some my planters planted with some ivy, some dogwood from our property and with the pansies which are good in cool weather even though we're having hot weather but I like them because pansies also come back in the fall so I'll probably put in some summer ones these limpy looking things are nasturtium that I tried to start by seed don't know if they will survive so and here's the other one Anyways, tomorrow I'm going to put some more pots together. Um, I'm going to plant some dahlias. And I think by the tulips I'm going to plant some daisies. And I've got also a jar of lupin seeds from my father. So I think I'm going to spread those around as well. So, talk to you soon. Uh, thanks for coming along on this journey with us. Bye for now.